good morning welcome back to my youtube um we are now officially two weeks two weeks into prep and what has been going on so um i've not had any changes since the original start point so the original start actually kind of dropped me down um probably around 3000 calories as a whole in the week um and i did see body weight drop down quite fast so since i started i've come down sort of just around two kilos um sort of a little bit of fluctuation here and there um but everything is kind of just steadily cut like it come down quite fast originally and then it's steadied out now um obviously my check-in is today so once i get feedback from meg i will obviously update on any changes that we've got going on there my steps are still at 11k um food is still nice and high rest day training day is pretty similar um in terms of kind of the macros as a whole um hunger is not too bad i did feel a little bit of a sting when it first dropped in but um everything's kind of leveled out then <clears throat> cardio is still one per week 20 minutes which i'm going to do now at the gym um and yeah everything is just still good um i did have three days rest over the weekend um because things were just feeling a little bit um a little bit flat a little bit kind of not great in terms of training um obviously running straight into the prep from kind of the off season setting and then obviously having that initial drop with calories things kind of just hit a bit of a fatigue hole so obviously prep is management of fatigue um so nipping that in the bud now i feel a lot fresher had two really good training sessions um yesterday and the day before and um, rest day today and then i've got legs tomorrow so as a whole everything's going really well um i'll put some physique update shots on this video as well so you can see kind of changes already um i am feeling a lot tighter kind of midsection um anyway feeling a little bit flat as well um but i do think that that's obviously from having a couple of days rest and just being a little bit fatigued um obviously had a few little kind of personal things going on um which does cause a little bit of extra stress anyway um so now that that is settled i do feel a lot a lot fresher and a lot more myself so i'm going to get in for my cardio now I've got 20 minutes on the stairs um and yeah just get cracked on with the day um i've done my check-ins this morning wednesday is um a nice busy day for me so i've been up nice and early got that done routine is absolutely on point and i do want to make a note of that actually because with being so regimented in the off season nothing really has changed apart from a little bit less food um so i think it's important that going into a prep setting that you already kind of have them variables set in place because it just makes it so much easier to actually just fly straight in so yeah we are 22 weeks out which seems absolutely mad um but we've already done two weeks already so it goes to show how fast it actually does go um so yeah i'm gonna get in and do my cardio now and um then i'll catch up with you when i've had my check-in reply One eternity later. Yeah. Hey. Oh, baby. Yo, in like 
funny how it works Can't believe I didn't see you first Thinking that you could have been the one When I saw it in your eyes The minute that you started talking hit me And I realized I'm hella nervous I try to be as tough as I can You got me feeling like a G And now I'm finally the man Girl, you deserve the best I know you hella stress When you got the ones around you causing such a mess I truly think that you're an angel in disguise Soul ties both together in another life Damn, it don't matter if it's wrong to say I think we're meant to be together on another day Hey, with everything in common There would never be a reason for a compromise Ain't no worries of a fight You know what me is hella easy to survive I would never worry about you with another guy Uh, little slice of heaven You will be my blessing 747, and we finally landed Take you to a paradise, roll the dice And wherever that you pick, we flying out tonight Yeah, girl, you know that I'm into you Take it to my home and show you how I really do I really want the best for you and I believe the key is truly me Let's get together living life as if it was a dream So this is my meal one at the moment, which is 175 ml of egg white, one egg, 100 grams of veg, and a bagel thin. And I've got like a little splash of unsweetened almond milk in there as well. So I'm just gonna get back to these replies now, and then, yeah, get on with the rest. So I've had my changes through as well from Meg. Um, and we've just had a little bit of an increase in steps. So steps are now up to 12,000 um, and cardio is now three times per week. So I'll be doing that on my rest days or sort of before or post upper session um, going forward from today. So I'm actually looking forward to doing a little bit more movement as well. Um, food gets to stay where it is um, and hopefully um, we can see some push on from that. So I am actually probably due on my cycle as well. And I thought it'd actually be good to make a note of fluctuations that ladies have on a month to month basis. Like even when everything is spot on to the button, like especially in a prep setting where, you know, you're eating the same thing every day, you're moving exactly the same every day, you're getting your sleep every day. When you see body weight fluctuate, it's, obviously to do, do with your ho your hormones and I think it's important for females to realise that you will have monthly fluctuations um, and that it isn't actual fat gain, it isn't, you know, anything that you're doing wrong. You just, if you know in yourself that you nail on everything um, and you have body weight fluctuations, then it's something else that is going on. It could be something to do with stress. It could be something to do with a heavy leg day. Like if you've smashed a leg session and the next day your weight's up a little bit, that's going to be inflammation within your body holding a little bit more fluid. Um, 
whilst it is recovering so it's it's good to not get so hung up on scales and um, at the end of the day if the look's improving and um, then you know you, you you're going on the right track so that's something that I always like to preach to my clients as well because I've been someone who has got very fixate, fixated on scale weight in the past and it has been very kind of detrimental to my progress and how I feel like sometimes I could get on the scales and I, and it would go up a little bit and I'd get so frustrated I'd get so angry and as a result of that you increase your stress levels and you put more weight on and it's like you just fight the losing battle so it's really good and important to not get too sort of fixed on the actual number because it is just a number um and you know if if you're feeling smaller if you're feeling tighter if you're doing everything what you could possibly do then there's no more that you could be doing um so yeah i just wanted to to say that because i know that people have have it still the same um so anyway i'm gonna eat my breakfast now then i'm gonna get a shower um because i need about 40 showers a day when i'm on prep and um i'm gonna get back to all of these videos so what i make sure i do in the morning is i'll, I'll always do all of my feedback voice notes an initial check-ins and changes and then I'll give myself an hour an hour and a half in the morning to get all my bits done and then I'll come back and I'll do video replies any kind of changes that need doing if any new clients need setting up that's kind of when I'll do it in that kind of bulk there and then obviously I will train and then back to kind of more replies and things like that like it is always a constant like I'm always on hand like clients will never wait longer than you know a couple of hours for a reply from me unless they message me past 8pm because I will be in bed but obviously I have got um, a client going into prep soon as well which is exciting um, so things will probably have to change a little bit there just to make sure that um, she is all good there but her shows are after mine are finished so we've planned it out really well and um, yeah I'm just excited for everyone's progress. I've also got a couple of clients going into photo shoot prep as well we're going to be doing a team photo shoot um which is a really good chance for you know lifestyle clients to to push themselves and and get themselves in a little bit more of a disciplined setting to be able to uh, see some really fantastic results and then have a big sort of photo shoot at the at the end um so yeah there's there's a there's a few of us doing that which is exciting um and yeah be a really great day and hopefully uh, I can show you that as well when we when we go through it. So yeah, um, that's all for today. Actually, I'm on rest day, so I'm going to crack on with this work. Um, and then I'm going to get out and do my steps and stuff like that. I'm going to actually make sure I get outside as well today um, and just get caught up with... Um, with work stuff so yeah not that many changes so far obviously i will post up my um my check-in and stuff um and see how things are going but everything so this is two weeks difference um as you can see not a great deal of change um a little bit tighter in the midsection on this side shot and a little bit of hamstring pop that's St. James's Park. So I am, um, I always start my my videos with the word so. <sighs> anyway, uh, I am out doing my steps now. Uh, it is one o'clock in the afternoon. All work is done and I have actually got loads of steps to do. Um, so I'm walking into town now. I'm going to have a wander, a little bit of a window shop, try not to spend any money because I'm trying to save up um, and everyone knows that you end up spending loads of shit on prep because you can't buy food, you can't go out for do to do things, so you end up buying nonsense. So I'm going to try and not do that. Um, in fact, I haven't even brought a purse, so um, there's one way to do it. And yeah, I look like shit, but you know it's early days yet the chubby face is still here but we're working on it um so yeah thank you for obviously for watching um this very brief update on where we're at two weeks in um 
hopefully they'll get a little bit more interesting as we uh, get into the, the thick of it. But yeah, thank you and hope to see you in the next.